What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at Stadium Creator in MLB The Show 21. Now, I've created my own stadium, and I absolutely love it. I did not know how much I was going to enjoy this feature in MLB The Show 21. It is next-gen only, but I highly recommend you create your own stadium. It's a lot of fun. You can really get lost in this mode. Uh, we're going to take a look at my stadium today. Is the ultimate hitter's paradise. I'm going to show you how I created it and by looking at it, you're going to be able to figure out and by looking at it, you're going to be able to figure out how you would like to create your own stadium custom to your own liking. So the first thing that happens here is you're going to start out on this screen. It's going to have you a tutorial part. Now, if you hit left one time on the D pad, it's going to give you the blank canvas now this one i really recommend that you go with the blank canvas and the reason is you can just kind of build it from scratch if you go into some of these other ones and you try to edit them there's a kind of a lot of stuff in the way and i was already trying to record this video and i was like i think it's just better if i go into my own stadium and don't save anything type of deal and it'll make it better so i recommend that you go with the blank canvas let's go ahead and hop into my stadium all right so now we're in my stadium one of the key things also is you can see up in the top right i only use four 47% of the things that I could possibly use. So the reason I did that is to cut down on lag and possible errors. So a couple of things you're going to want to keep in mind is don't put too much stuff in your stadium because it just has to load up a ton of assets when you play online. And so I left it at about 47%. I didn't try to go too crazy and I tried not to overlap items and assets that could cause problems for the game to render. Now you can see in the bottom left, it has edit mode easy, and then there's also edit mode pro. Don't be intimidated by edit mode pro. It's not that difficult at all to use edit mode pro. And in fact, you're going to need to use it quite a bit, but you're gonna get used to it real fast. It just allows you to edit things more easily. So let's explain the rest of these icons. The first thing is the stadium properties. I named my stadium movie space. I give the stadium location of USA. The altitude, I put it 5279. Now the reason I did that is because max altitude is 5280, 5280. So I went one under that. Now, altitude really matters in MLB The Show 21, and it's always mattered in MLB The Show. Think like Coors Field. It keeps the ball up in the air longer. That's what I've really noticed playing at my stadium in particular it just keeps the ball floating and floating like those line drives can get out i did it in the year 800 because i don't know i just think it's funny that the stadium would be built in the year 800 as far as the templates go these only have to do with seating and we don't have any fans at our stadium again to cut down on lag online this stadium plays crystal clear online and that's what i love it about it so much as well as it just being an absolute hitter's paradise so after you do that, make sure you save the changes. I'm going to go ahead and hit no because mine's already saved. So let's get into the stadium scenery. So I picked red rocks and I picked soft grass because I wanted the batter to have a very good visual when they were up hitting. I wanted my stadium not to have like any griefing possibilities. That's why we're going with no fans. So it's crystal clear. It's just really, really fun to play with online. Tons of home runs, all that kind of stuff. And the batter's eye is super important. You don't want things in the background messing with the player at the plate, the hitter at the plate. So I went with red rocks and soft grass. And you're also going going to want to, when you build your stadium you're going to want to do a lot of testing so you're going to want to go into play cpu games after you save it and just kind of see how it feels when you're actually in the game and i think at first i had i had like grass too and then i was like this is just too green in the background when i'm trying to hit so i switched it up to, to red rocks for that field in the background and then the soft grass i liked the most as well i just thought it was the least distracting in the background just a couple of green hills back there so that's why i went with that but there's also a a lot of options you can toggle this however you would like to toggle this so for the field and mow patterns i went with synthetic turf you can go for a, whatever you like i just thought the, gr the grass looked the greenest for the pattern and there's a lot of different patterns i actually kind of like pattern three a lot i went with pattern four i just like how that looks as well and then the dirt you can choose the dirt however you'd like what did I go with? I can't remember which one I went with. I think maybe dirt four. I don't know. I can even switch it up. We'll go to dirt four for this. So the outfield wall is actually very, very important. 
if you make any customization to it, you're actually not going to be able to play online with it. So when you're creating the stadium, just make sure you don't accidentally edit a piece of the wall. You could be 20, 30 minutes into creating your stadium and all of a sudden it gives you the icon up in the top right with the baseball bat and the red circle. That means you can't use it online anymore. It happened to me. It was because I messed up when I was editing and I accidentally edited one piece of the wall. So just be conscious of that. That's probably why you can't use the stadium online. So let's explain the wall a little bit as well. So you can see it has 300, 400, 300. There's 150 preset walls that you can use in MLB The Show 21 for your stadium. I went with 300, 400, 300 because again, I wanted to make the most hitter friendly stadium. And there's about 10 different versions of this wall also that you can choose from. And then they just go up over and over again you can see as you just hit right on the d-pad there's more and more options that you can choose there's also really deep options as well you can go if i could just go the other way that's what i'm doing now there's like a 375 foot option obviously this isn't going to work you can see on the top right how it doesn't ha it has that like no save icon because now i have stuff on the field so i'm gonna go back to my original one which is 300 v1 and the reason i chose this one is because you can actually try to rob home runs at the wall that's the one that i like the best but you can choose whichever wall that you want just make sure you don't edit any part of it because if you do you can't use it online and honestly Honestly, you can make the fences way shorter or way longer for offline play, but you might as well make at least one that you can use online. It's just so much more fun to play in your own stadium this year. So this is the one if you want the shortest, if you want the, you know, if you want the band box, amazing hitting park, go with 300, 400, 300 V1. All right, so now let's get into the fun stuff. Let's get into the props or all the stuff that you see in the background as far as like the spaceships and the scoreboards and all that stuff. So the first thing you're gonna do is just toggle over to pro. It's not that much different other than it just kind of lets you place things where you want to place things and then head over to prop inventory. Now I should say also, if you get stuck on this screen, you're like, how do I get out of this now that I'm done? So O is toggle to delete. So if you're just hitting O to get out of it, just go ahead and hit the touchpad and you'll be able to pop right back out. Now let's talk about the prop inventory. Now you can't put anything on the field itself, obviously, because that's going to cause problems. So the first thing that I recommend that you build is I recommend that you build a batter's eye that you like. Now the batter's eye is used to make it easier to see the release out of the pitcher's hand when you're playing. I'm gonna go ahead and edit mine by hitting X to select a prop. I like the worn green plywood the most. There's a lot of different options. I just like how it's very wide. It's one color for the most part and it just accomplishes uh, my needs personally. If you pick a smaller one, say like this one, I was originally gonna go with this one. The pitcher's arm can kind of almost get all the way out the, to the outside of that, which I didn't like. So that's why I went with the worn green plywood. Make sure you got a good batter's eye, some good space on both of these sides. So there's no grieving for you or your opponent when you're trying to hit. Now, one of the reasons that I have my scoreboard all the way out here and I found from testing is as well because when i'm actually up at the plate and i use like strike zone view i can actually see this in frame so you're gonna want to make sure that your scoreboard if you want it to be this way is in frame so i can read all the information on the scoreboard when i'm up the plate i could read my movie space or what have you name of the play or name of the park i should say that's in view as well so just that's something you're gonna find out through testing so testing is very very important to do set up how it is and then you might I have to make some edits from there. So how do you add a prop? How do you add all these, these spaceships and all that kind of stuff? All right, so let's go out here and horse around a little bit. So there's a lot of different options. The thing that you're gonna hit is you're gonna hit square to add a prop. Now there's a lot of different things that you can do. Basically, you're gonna hit left and right to cycle through the options of what you have. And you can see it says scoreboards, be it up and down. You can cycle through the different categories of items. And then the top row is the stuff within that category. So it's starts out with scoreboards there's a variety of scoreboards that you can use another tip i have is if you want this stuff to sit on the ground don't move it up in the air because it's difficult to get it to sit back on the ground where you want it's going to start going underground which again i don't recommend because that might cause your stadium to error out when you're playing online so just be conscious of that don't go crazy with it but also be conscious this thing might be going this thing's probably going to go online and so you don't want it to have any rendering issues so you can see the 
different scoreboard options as well through here. You got the different signs that you can put in as well. You can pretty much move them to wherever you would like to put them. Different concession stands. Some of these have like, you know, 20 or so options as well, but there's also a lot more options in some of them than others. One of my favorite ones, like you have the wildlife here, which are animated. I think one of my favorite ones is actually uh, features. So if I can find features here, let's see trees, plant features, features has a bunch of stuff. So first you just think, oh, it's just an antenna. But if you go the other way on this thing, you know, you got wind turbines, you got the waterfall, which actually I didn't even see, I'm doing this video now and I didn't even know there was actually like a waterfall like this. Like there's a lot of stuff in here to look at. I almost like that more than the fountains I have up. Uh, there's a water tower. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. It's tough to zoom out sometimes. There we go. L1. We got some water towers. We got the water slide. The stuff with the the bigger stuff with the animations, you know, use it at your own risk. It's gonna be fine for the most part, but just realize that's gonna take up uh, more more space. Here's the UFO mothership that I like to use. You can see when I created mine as well. Like nothing's overlapping. Like I'm not see if I do this. And I can like kind of put it inside this one. That's what I'm talking about. I wouldn't, I would not do that. That's going to, that's going to cause like collision detection issues. I would recommend not doing that as much as possible. Just make sure that you got some space in between stuff, uh, as much as you can. And you should be fine. Got the tennis court in here some different speakers. Here's a lot of the space stuff. It's got the space portal, the space colony, some solar panels, solar flower, a whole soccer field, smokestack uh sci-fi reactor which i got a couple of those whoa dude there's a martin there's a martian rover i didn't know they had a rover i <laughs> maybe we should put a martian rover someplace let's zoom back out we got a whole entire river bolt that you can put out here a ramp around a whole football field whatever you'd like to do you can do with this stadium creator so the next thing i want to talk about is the lettering also so the lettering uh just some tips here so i got it all spaced out you're going to use triangle for the height control that's going to move it up and down so when you have triangle selected you can see at the bottom it's kind of highlighted when you have that selected you can you're going to stay in the same plane moving it up and down when you don't have it on you can move it left and right uh, forward and backwards kind of but height control just goes straight up and down. That's important I want you to take a look at my lettering here So what I did is I actually if we zoom in here and I kind of go up a little bit um, What I did here is I made sure these are all in line I'm trying to get the camera the camera's a little finicky in this Okay, there we go. You can kind of see it from there. So you can kind of see for the most part, they're all in line and they're also a little bit away from the stadium scoreboard itself. There's a little bit of space there so that the letters don't go into part of that scoreboard to potentially cause an error. Now to avoid shadows as well, because these letters have shadows, I moved the space part of it out a little bit so that the shadows don't go over the lettering. So if you wanna kinda of add that custom touch with lettering, there's just a couple tips for you as well. I accidentally placed this A, all you need to do to delete it is go over it or go over an item, hold down O for a second and it will delete it. I put a lot of my props in the corners and down the lines and I even moved this thing kind of like out of the way as well. I just didn't want any kind of grief. There's plenty of space for you to be able to see on both sides. And again, make sure you test out your field. When you test it out, you're going to see things that you don't see in here that are going to help you make a better park. So I highly suggest you that you do that. Well, it wasn't too difficult, was it? To create your own stadium. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, have a great day. Peace.